Hello and welcome to another episode of Commander Dirtle. So this week it's Battle for Zendikar. Uh, if you watch the set musings episode you'll know that I've chosen Omnath, Locust, Locust of Rage. I nearly said Locust of Rage, yeah. Locust of Rage. So three, two red, two green, it's a five five, it's a mythic. It's a legendary creature elemental. has landfall on it, so whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a 5-5 five, five red and green elemental creature token onto the battlefield. Whenever Omnath Locus of Rage or another elemental you control dies, Omnath deals 3 damage to target creature or player. So what I've done to seed this pool before I let the algorithm that's in architect take over because it leverages the edh rec algorithm to help you sort of build decks so i've seeded it with basically in the terms of creatures um creatures that are that have landfall and also elemental creatures that are in the set some of those might get pulled out if they get outperformed by another suggestion that would compete for the slot i've also as this is a red green deck included on color utility cards in the various type slots so instance sorceries artifacts lands enchantments that were in battle of zendikar that um that are on on color for this so red green Plus in the case of artifacts, anything that I thought would be interesting utility. So we've got in our artifacts, we've got slab hammer, hammer. So two to cast whenever an equipped creature attacks, you may return a land you control to its owner's hand. If you do, the creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. I thought this would just be interesting to play around with landfall of a card that basically allows you to bounce a land back to your hand and then use it to, you know, cast it again to trigger landfall. We've got uh, Hedron Archive, which is two colourless, your mana pool, four to cast. And for two, you can tap it, sacrifice it, and it, you can draw two cards. So in red and green, obviously, we're going to be looking at ways to, to get court card draw. Uh, because we don't have the benefit of, say, the sort of card draw we might see in blue, or alternate ways of getting card draw in black that we probably have seen in the set. So creature side of things, we've got... I just thought Dragon Master Outcast was just such a cool card, and it was in red. So if we've got a lot of... You know, I'm hoping this deck, the algorithm, is going to put me in the direction and because we're playing green of having lots of land so this makes a lot of sense in a landfall deck where we want to have a lot of land here's our set uh, mana dork but we can only spend it to cast a creature spell which is fine if we're going to be trying to do a bit of elemental tribal or we'll see where it takes us We've also got Pilgrim's Eye, which allows us to search out for a basic land card. We have Tunneling Geopede, which is a, a landfall. So whenever a land enters the platform under control, Tunneling Geopede deals one damage. So as I said, I was just going to put in any landfall creatures in here um, to try and pull it in that direction. And this may well come out. We'll see. Undergrowth Champion. So, so two, two for three. If damage will be dealt to the Wrath Champion while it has a plus one, plus one counter on it, prevent that damage and remove a plus one, plus one counter. So it's got its sort of own little mini fog effect on itself. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter. So that's where it interacts with the landfall. Valakut Predator, another landfall here. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, I look at critically it's plus two plus two until end of turn. So if we have some way of making multiple land land drops. Grove Rumbler, 
Obviously it's an elemental, one of the reasons it's in here from the set, but it's also got landfall on it. Gets plus two plus two. Wind and Wanderer. This has got Converge and it's in here mainly because it's an elemental. Of course in a two colour deck we're only going to be able to get a two plus one plus one counter so it will be a four 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 but it does have Vigilance and Trample which is always handy in a multi-player environment. So of course that by having Vigilance it's not tapped when uh, when it attacks. So it's always available to block a Coombe Hellkite, another landfall card. Where an effect stable do it? And then Oran Reef Hydra, another landfall creature. It's counters. Enchantment wise, I just put the retreats in here. So these were these modal enchantments where every time you get landfall, you get to choose one of these. So counters would be good. Bit of life gain. Um, plus two, plus zero. And making a target creature so it can't block. Outnumber. Deals damage to target creature equal to the number of creatures you control. So that would be good in a creature deck. Single red to cast. Plummet. Good way of dealing with flying creatures swell of growth this was this sort of plus two plus two with a ability to play an additional land or put an additional land from your hand um, stapled together natural connection search of a basic land card and then put it onto the battlefield volcanic upheaval we can destroy target lands something that is set specific sorceries Rolling Thunder, that's the X damage spell in the set. Seek the Wilds is the um, so one of those top of the library manipulation you see in green where you look to get so many cards at the top. In this case, it's four. And then you can reveal certain types of cards from there. In this case, creature or land card from among them and then put the rest on the bottom in any order. And the two... Um, so yeah, it's an ore, so you can re reveal a creature or a land. Sylvan Scrying, search your library for a land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Reclaiming Vines, ways of de destroying artifacts, enchantments, or land. And then this is Renewal, search your library for up to three basic land cards. So quite a lot of ways of searching out for land, and also, um, yeah, but, but additionally we've got ways of getting rid of opponents' lands as well. Then the non-basics that were in the set, we might I thought we might as well pull them all in from the various colours that we can play. So we've got Blighted Gorge, Blighted Woodland, which if you remember from when I looked at the um, cards in the set musing that were high up in EDH rec ranking, this was one of them. We've got Cinderglade. Evolving Wilds, Fertile Thicket. So you remember there were these common utility lands. It's got that same, you know, top, look at the top five cards of the library effect that we've already seen. This one's, it's for basic lands. As our forest, so I figured we should use a full art land work. Full art land. Full land artwork. Sorry. Full art land work. Oh, I've said it again. Full land artwork <laughs> from the set. Oh dear. Um, yeah, it's the battlefield tapped. Target creature gets plus one, plus one, and first strike. Okay. So, already 33 cards in the deck. Um, oh, only eight land at the moment. That's why. So... We need to pump this up a bit. So let's get on to say 38 land. Because we are playing a landfall deck. So I think that would... That started off with 8. Oh, come on. And then we want 15 of each of these. Oh, 
my mistake. Oh yeah, eight, yeah. So 16 of each, including the original of each of these. Right. Let's just prime this and then we'll start drilling down through this. So we've got quite a number of cards in here already, so it might end up I might end up swapping stuff out. I mean part of the, the thing is to try and play set specific utility over other utility, just because we're talking about a particular set. So there may well be things like instances that instant spells that so it can bounce out that. I don't know whether I want a ton of instances. How many have I got already? I've already got five. I don't want to lose too many spots for my creatures. That would be nice in this deck, actually. See, I already have stuff that searches out for lands. Hmm. Yeah, I do fancy that card. Okay. like to play some of this stuff though I mean if I went with that and a ground assault maybe See, maybe I should play because there's just so much land draw. Yeah, let's just keep going. Would be nice to have some card draw as well. Ooh. Okay, we might as well go for obscene amounts of land. Explosive vegetation. Shamanic revelation. I don't know if mm. wonder if that will trigger. Leave it at that for the moment. Okay. Enchantments. All right. That'd 
be pretty cool. That's good. So, of course, this depends on whether or not we're going to have a lot. I don't know yet how big creatures it's going to suggest. I'm assuming they're elemental, so that could be... I think we can leverage. Oh, might as well run as far as if you have a Maya. What have we got? Right, I think that's sufficient for the moment. I'm not pl planning on playing a, a ton of artifacts, I don't think. I want to check what sort of planeswalker might get suggested, if any. I can't remember if there's a what am I looking for? Mm. Okay, we've got a top four weapon. Okay. Okay. I like the sound of that. We'll put two in. It's nice to... Do that. Oops. Artifact time. So of course, a bit of a soul ring. Mm. With this much land, do I really need to worry too much about mana fixing? Control. Oh dear, do I play a crucible? Hmm. Okay. Try that for the moment. Right, 86 cards. Oh, I should I should do this because I always think well, I don't. I always remember at the last minute. Right, that's a cool artwork for Terramorph. Well, just the, sorry, the framework for. Terramorphic Expanse. These are always interesting to play actually in a, a landfall deck. Okay. Doesn't really matter. I know what I want to add. Sacrifice it when you do such a low. Like 
interesting in land for decks. Tingle Forest card. Please, it's triggering landfall here. That's cool in the deck. Should have that. So that, do I really want to, if I've got those, do I want to set up something interesting with, what was it, that artifact? Interesting synergy. Um, don't know how good that's going to be, but uh, we'll see. Right, I need to cut back. Wow, I've got a lot of utility lands here. Creature time. Okay. So it's definitely. What are we getting here? So landfall and utility elementals, I think, are my my thing. Gonna work backwards here. I think you can, I'm not saying much here. Um, my brain's working overtime, but I think you can get the gist of what I'm doing here. So it's I'm picking basically elementals and or anything that interacts with landfall or leverages land. It's 
can be so much learned out. I think I had an attempt, not not on YouTube, to, you know, filming this, but I had an attempt before at building a an Omnath deck, and uh, yeah, it was pretty shocking when it goes off in terms of just the amount of landfall, land and landfall triggers. Right, no, there was some stuff in here that wasn't great. Now is probably the time to re remove that. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> okay. I don't need like the vigilance on that actually. Let's leave it at that for the moment. As as always, there's just so much choice. I could play around with this a lot more. We ended up with 25 creatures. Right. Let's go into playtest mode. So nothing till turn seven, right. Turn three, Courser of Crucifix. Cru Unless you control two or more basic lands. Well, that's fine. So let's just stop getting our land out. Shamanic Revelation. that out. Okay. Do, 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 do. And there we go. Pay the top land of your life. It's a land, if a land is about on your coin, you gain one life. Play with the top card of your library. You may play the top card of your library if it's a land card. No, it's not. So now, well, we're good with land. Oh, there we go. So things are looking good. That of course doesn't count as a a draw. 
uh, here things Okay, what would I want out of this? So we've got this. So that's handy to keep once we get landfall stuff. We've got this, which is a mana door. We've got Pilgrim's Eye. We've got Retreat to Valakut. And then these go to the bottom in any order. I'm not sure in this thing actually how you do that effectively. Oh, move to the bottom of the library. There we go. Learn something every day. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Oh, hang on. So, yeah, if I play this out, then next turn. I could get out on that. And then things start getting interesting. get Omnath out. And now going forward, just start using yeah, so yeah, as I said. Things get start getting interesting. So let's just go through and look at what else we're drawing. So, you know, basically it looks like it's another one of those decks where you're just trying to get Omnath out as quickly as possible and get yourself in a position where you're going to be dropping lands. So I suppose you have to make a decision is how do you want to use your resources you have in your hand? Do you want to start cracking cards to go search for land or the best thing I suppose is to wait until you're at such a point where you're not going to make your land drops so sort of save these for once Omnath is out and then start leveraging them let's turn three we've got a command tower mountain and a myriad landscape Uh, yeah, no problem here with land, I don't think. Let's just see how my drops go without really doing anything special. And at what point I would have to leverage
so we're good. Six, so one more drop. So yeah, at this point I would probably want to use one of these. don't have any creatures so yeah it's probably the rampant, rampant growth then so use that hunt out some land and then we'd be able to get on that out good so beyond that what have we got Jerry class interesting Let's see again okay forest mountain okay not so good here again let's just see how this plays out so this point we could be in trouble oh no we're good so we can actually get this out just so it's too so it's perfect or that hmm Okay, so at this point I would probably want to crack a cultivate. We could get our that out in preparation. Although that would put us a little bit behind. So if I did do that. Oh, that's... Oh no. So yeah, we would have to crack a cultivate, go and find more land. Anyway, let's just see how we do. Yeah, so this hand, not quite so good. It does involve us having to crack some sort of land tutoring to get Omnath out. So I think that's the first time that's happened. And also we haven't had any problems yet with overfilling our hand. Well, probably because we haven't got it to a point where we've really, things have, have gone off. Again, I'm just really, and of course I could be doing these as I go along. So that could go out. That could have gone out. Yeah, that could have gone out. Okay, again, a little bit of a problem here, land-wise. Oh, so what we've, we've missed one drop, and unfortunately we don't have any... Okay, that might help us, which we're in a position to now play that. So if we did have this out now, we would activate that. Let's just look at that. What would the top four be? No, that would. So mounting his office card. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's a bit of another problem hand. Let's just see one more. Okay, mountain forest and a fabled passage. Okay, I do have a pilgrim's eye, but I can't get that out till turn three, which is fine. We could get our tunneling geopede now. 
maybe white but certainly it looks like I'm making my drops no problem these sort of cards you would like to have like a some sort of landfall creature out we've also got an exploration where we can play addition oh should have got that out well but it probably doesn't matter actually so again the timing of stuff like this is pretty critical these landfall decks can actually be quite tricky to play when i'm doing something in my mind i'm trying to think it would be it would i want to like over populate with lands here like take out a couple of i don't know sorceries and Where's it gone? Back to the deck. There we go. Yeah. So going back to the original deck, would I in fact want to stuff it with a few more lands and cut back a little bit on the sorceries? Perhaps. Hmm. Yeah, it's a difficult balance really, I suppose. Or even take out. Yeah, I've been with any of this, any of this as well. When you're doing sample hounds, there's so many combinations of stuff you aren't going to see in a like um, you know, a Highlander deck. But it's interesting nonetheless. I think that would be my only concern really is um, just making sure that uh, I do get those land drops. And you know the sorceries are helping um, in that respect. So I suppose it's a balance really between I did increase my land drop. What would I remove here? So there we have it. I really enjoyed that. It was a slightly different sort of deck than we might normally see. There is another very interesting Omnath. Um, I was going to say the original Omnath but just let me so yeah this one which was uh, in the original so this would have been in World Wake so two in a green legendary creature elemental the grain mana does not empty from your mana pool as steps and phases end Omnath like the mana gets plus one plus one for each green mana in your mana pool and you can see there in fact there's a number of I do this we should be able to see all the math cards does that here we go omnath locus of creation that's like four color and that was in ah, zendikar rising Hmm. Yeah. So thanks once again for watching. Bye for now and I will catch you in the next episode.